Charlotte Wessels. Soft Revolution. Full song. Ciao, guys. And two songs in an hour and a half long stream. Yikes. This is very different than what I'm used to hearing in Delane, right? So she, I mean, obviously a very similar voice, but this is a really fantastic uh, forward timbre. I really, I've really started appreciating the like uh, more contemporary pop technique when it's done artfully as, as it is here. Charlotte keeps her sound so far forward, sort of living solely simply you know it's not a very complex timbre until she wants it to be but she uses this very simple very breathy forward very forward sound to create clarity and she maintains that throughout this is yeah this is her solo project yeah and it's it's so impressive how she can track that resonance and then grow from that perspective she doesn't need to add anything else to create more timbre during like the chorus, for example, that we just heard. Um, but but try to listen to how simple the sound is and yet how clear her diction can be because that's where the real work is done and that's, that's the truly impressive component uh, to my ear. See, so you, you hear that crescendo in the sound, and it's only through the most simplest forward resonant, right? Resonance. It's almost like a good, like, it's like twang, like vocal twang, right? I'm not a, I'm not a vocal twang expert. But you can hear how the, the breathiness in the sound creates its own you know, overtone almost. The, that might be a post-processing thing. But it sounds really cool. <laughs> Regardless, this is a, a really, really text of the song is really nice as well. That's the moment. Whoa, peeking. That's the moment where I'm like, uh, this, this is where you can grow the sound 
out of just that spot. When she she amplifies the sound, she adds more compression to her voice, but she doesn't change the configuration of the vocal tract. So we don't get a foreign sound, but we get a much more powerful forward belt, right? But it doesn't require any spreading because it is literally just empowering that singular resonance. Uh, because it's not an overcomplication. It's a shift of the air pressure and an adaptation of the vocal cords. But it doesn't change the configuration in her head. And you can see that in her face. She's not She's not adjusting. She's not doing what Floor does, right? And there's nothing wrong with either way. It's just a different approach to creating a different sound uh, with a d completely different instrument, of course. Uh, but check it out. Check it out. Or, or at least listen to the similarities between this and that softer earlier timbre, right? love that that harmony change she just shifts from uh, minor to relative major for that little i guess it's the bridge that that soft revolution kind of breakdown bridge section she stays in the same key but then she shifts to the relative major which creates this room for breathing in your soul right and the idea uh, let's go through the lyrics of the song real quick just because it's it relates really really wonderfully to uh I'm, I'm putting this on my list this is a great album i need to get into my into my listening um oh nothing here is okay and that's okay we'll be there from now on oh no one is no one here is fine and that's just fine we'll turn the night to dawn dichotomy 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 night to dawn nothing's fine that's just fine no one here is fine that's just fine the lost and forgotten the dark and besodden the lost and forgotten the dark and besodden i call for the monsters and witches to come this is the chorus to come out tonight and dance with me under the stars i call for a soft revolution instead of a war with lullabies for battle cries i call for a soft revolution gentle with that heart oh it might shatter the darker your nighttime the brighter will be the harder you're falling the softer are we I call for the monsters and witches to come out tonight and dance with me under the stars. I call for a soft revolution instead of a war with lullabies for battle cries. And we'll keep holding on. We'll keep holding on. I call for the monsters and witches to come out tonight to dance with me under the stars. I call for a soft revolution, etc., etc. Same repeats, right? My interpretation of these lyrics, I mean, it's beautifully written poetry. It's beautiful rhyme scheme. It was wonderful. What's really powerful about this song, it... it Oh, yop. I'm sorry. We'll take care. What's beautiful about this song? Hey, and Forkless, thank you for that gear, uh, tier one gifted sub for Randy. It, it reminds me, we all listen to, to music based on where we are in life, right? That's what's beautiful. About you. Like, you, can't, you can't listen to a song as you were the person 10 years ago, right? You can still think about things that happened 10 years ago from that person's perspective, but in the moment, you can't listen to a, an ephemeral song that comes and goes in the moment 
as you were in the past or in the future for that matter, right? This is important because we all will interpret music differently based on our perspective right now in the present moment. That's why music is so important as an art form. You can see a painting for the first time years ago and then see it again. And you can remember how you listened to a song then and you'll always listen to it differently based on how you are in your present life. That's art. Art brings you into the full moment when you're fully open to accepting it, right? In my life right now, I have a choice. I can either continue being a freelance singer and going, get, relying on a relatively unstable income that's unpredictable, I should say, um, though, you know, it's fine for the time being continue to make content in conjunction with that. That's my life. That's what I want to do right now. That's what I'm, that's what I am doing. I'm creating content for you guys, creating, helping to develop a community, doing things on YouTube, doing things on Twitch. And I can balance that with singing. That's my soft revolution to the alternative, which is to getting a full-time stable job that has a reliable income, but doesn't create as much impact as I want to create in the world. Right? We all have things like that, that we can choose. We can choose the the path that we feel like we're pushed into or the path that we desire very rarely do those sync up right um we all have that soft revolution within us and this is how i'm interpreting this right cuz no you're not going to fight actively against that path set forward or or that that passive pressure or or that uh societal intent if everyone in community if everyone in your world in your community feels one way but you know you feel a different way you don't need to say anything you don't need to fight you don't need to battle you can call for a soft revolution and just act not violently or against that which you oppose but you can act how you want act in a way that is convincing and compassionate and evokes change through example rather than oppression. I think that's what the soft revolution is about. And I think the way she's creating dichotomy in both the poetry and in the harmonies, it's absolutely luscious. It's, it's, it's amazing because we think of revolution as an evil thing in times, as a difficult thing. But a soft revolution, as how she describes it, can be an incredibly beautiful and heartwarming thing, especially when it's Especially when it takes the opposition by surprise. I know so many musicians who want to be professionals, who want to devote their life to music, but their parents, for example, would not support it. And so that idea is so prevalent, and they think they need to rebel actively. They think they need to fight with their parents about it. But an alternative soft revolution would be just to make music that is so convincing and so beautiful and so honest that no one can argue that that person should be a musician, right? That's always my advice to someone who says their parents don't support their music. And I say, go make music that proves to them that you're worthy of becoming a musician, of devoting your life to the creation of art. That's their soft revolution. And I love that, you know, I've never thought of it that way until I will sit down with you guys here and listen to this song. Yeah, let's go do some metal. Let's rock. No, I like opera. I like classical. Go support her on Patreon. Even before you support me. Because um, my Patreon is going to change soon, and you might not like it.
But regardless, go support her because this is gorgeous. And with the recent breakup of her band, for whatever reason, it's worth it's worth supporting amazing artists, amazing poets, music makers, creators of musical experiences, curators of musical experiences. Please, I can't say it enough. Like I'm not I'm not here to make money. I'm here to celebrate the art form. Right. So go celebrate Charlotte Wessels. A soft-spoken yet deafening battle cry I'll do all the things they said I couldn't do I'll run for my life, I'm not running from you I call for a soft revolution Go be on that list, my friends. Go do it. Damn, that's a lot of patrons. Damn, I'm jealous. Not really. <laughs> oh, man. Um, that's such an awesome song. 